what's going on guys golden state writer here here back with another video and on today's video i'm actually going to go ahead and install the protection package on my 2023 zxnr so this protection package it all includes your frame sliders your bar ends and your rear and the front axle sliders so in case of a crash or something it'll prevent the bike from damaging more and more so the only thing i'm not going to go ahead and use my bar ends because i have the the lever guard so i'm going to go ahead and not use the bar ends but everything else i'll go ahead and put it on a bike so. guys well today i received some package from tst industries so this is a their protection pack which has the frame sliders the bar ends the axle sliders and all that that all in one package so if you want to buy them individually they'll end up being a little bit expensive so this one you save a little bit of the money so without a further ado let's go ahead and open up the box and see what's in the box yes i know i still did not buy a box opener i still use my kitchen knife to open the boxes but oh well it'll do the job for me so let's go ahead and see what's in it always have a nice packaging so the first thing that's in the box these are the caps for your um for sliders because the sliders the frame sliders once you screw them on it has the, this little hole so this will cover that gap for you and i don't like that hole to be seen so this will like go on the cap so it'll does that for you it covers that hole for you basically and the next one it is your uh this is your i believe these are the swing arm spools yes these are the rear swing arm spools so this one they have aluminum and then they have the like a normal stand sliders i got this uh, standard slider so these are basically your for your rear stand and then also like a rear axle sliders protection and the next one it is oh these are your bar ends so basically i'm not going to go ahead and use the bar ends because for bar ends i have the uh lever guard so i'm not going to go ahead and use the bar ends and this one it is your front axle sliders so this will uh there is a, a like a bar over here which will go through your front axle and then you bolt these two over it so it'll protect your front axle in case of a crash or something so your bike is safe and then it'll uh basically what this does this will prevent the damage to your calipers to your front rotors and your basically front forks and all of that so this will prevent that and i will go ahead and show you guys on the bike and these are super simple inst installation and the last package it is our frame slider so these are the momtech frame sliders which will i will show you guys how that works so the frame sliders these are super cool i always use these for all other my bikes because they're super low profile on the bike so pretty much that's it nothing else so let's go ahead and pull the bike out and i will show you guys how these things and i will show you guys step by step how to install all these on your bike so it should be super easy quick like five minute work not that much of the difference so let's pull up the bike and we'll go from there so the first thing that i want to start with would be my basically the sliders on and i'm going to start with the left side so make sure when you are using your frame sliders just open them one side at a time do not open both sides because these are basically your engine mount and if you open both sides your engine basically gonna fall off not not that'll fall off off but just do it one side at a time so i'm gonna start with the left side and go from there so what you need to do in order to get that started basically you would have to go ahead and take this bolt out and then replace it with the bolt that tst or rom tech provides and make sure you use a lot of loctite on this bolt because this one is your engine mount and then your engine is like super shaky so you don't want this to go loose while you're riding so let's go ahead and do that so just a quick tip when you guys putting your sides um frame sliders so there is two different uh there is two different like uh how do you say these things but the one that is longer this is for your left side of the bike because the inside it's further in so you would want to use this so it'll evens out on both sides of the bike. So make sure the longer one, it is for your left side. And then the shorter one, it's for your right side, which is like right here. So basically this is your stock bolt, which was like here, you pull it off like that. And then this is what the, the Vomitech provides. So you wanna put a lot of Loctite on here. And the reason it's longer, because technically this is your whole setup. Like this goes here and then this goes in there. And then like, you have a longer way to travel in order to get to the frame so that's why the screw it's like a little bit longer so make but also go ahead and keep your go ahead and keep your uh, stock bolt because you never know what future may hold so don't ever get rid of your stock stuff but yeah this is your stock 
and this is what the Walmatec provides. It's longer and they're actually the same size. So it shouldn't be an issue. Pretty much that's how it looks. So once you take it off, that's how it looks. And then the cap I told you guys, like this little cap, it just goes right up here. It'll close out this hole right here. Some people like it, some don't, but I just don't like that bolt to be seen. So this cap will cover it. So that's pretty much how it looks from the side. It's really low profile. It's not like sticking out way too much. So pretty much, see, that's how it looks. It's super low profile and it's super nice, honestly. It's like one of the best I've ever used so from the side. See, it's only a little tiny bit sticking out. And then you do the same thing right on the other side as well. Protection pack, the next one that we have is your front axle slider. So the front axle slider, it's super simple. You send this through your front axle and then you basically just screw these two screw through these like a sliders and then you mount it from there. It's like the easiest thing you could do to your motorcycle. So just like so, you just go ahead and screw one side and you send it in from the hole right here. And then you see, like that. And then on the other end, you just have to find the other, you just have, you just have to find the other end, just like this, and then send it through and make it snug. So just like that, it all goes in and then you tighten it from both sides and you're golden. Very last one, it's your rear swing arm spools. And then, so basically this is your rear axle sliders, as well as your, like when you wanna mount your bike on your rear stand, you use these to mount your bike. And in case of a crash, this will prevent your like a sprocket or if it's falling on the other side, it'll uh, protect the, or basically the brake components and stuff. So this is also super simple installation. You just go ahead and screw it back on your swing arm spools where the swing arms are. And pretty much that's it. Also use a lot of Loctite on these as well because this is attached to your um, frame and then the frames are kind of loose. So, because they're always super shaky. So this will like come loose if you don't tighten it enough and then if you don't lose a Loctite. So let's go ahead and put it on the bike. And this is also super simple installation. So let's just go ahead and do that. There you go, there you have it. So there is a little hole down here on every motorcycle. So for Kawasaki's, anywhere from 2016 and up, this is eight millimeter uh, bolt. So you just go ahead and screw it just like that. And you're golden. So I can do it with two hands. So you just have to, I have to shut on the window, but like you just basically tear it like that and you're golden. You just go ahead and tie it like that. And I did use a lot of Loctite on these, so because I don't want this to come loose. And pretty much super simple. There you have it. You also go ahead and do the same thing on this side and you're golden. You just screw it on. So here's one side and this is the other side. And you go ahead and you can go ahead and mount your bike on it and you're golden from there. Pretty much this is it. So basically the next part would be the engine cover. So this is the Puig engine cover. It comes, I bought it from Revzilla. I put the link in the description down below for all the parts. So this is a high-tech parts. And I'm honestly like super happy with these parts. I've used them before and they're pretty good. So it's Puig, 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 whatever. Everyone pronounce them differently. So let's pull them out and start putting them on the bike. So pretty much this is how they look. Um, it comes in a nice packaging. And then these two are for your right side. Well, actually, these two are for your right side and this one is for your left side and it also comes with like a instruction of how to do it and it comes with these bolts. So when you're doing this, you don't have to open all of these. You only open like three or four of these. So, and you put this and you put this part like on top, just like this. So you don't have to unscrew all of this. You only unscrew these two as well as these two at the bottom. And then same thing on the other side. Pretty much that is how it looks like. So basically you just open these two bolts and then two at the bottom, and then you just paste this over it. And then the other ones are still on. So you only take four off. I think there is 10 around this slide, but you only take four off. And then these are the four ones. So just keep your stock one. You may need them sometimes or something. And also about these, do not over tight these things. So if you have a torque wrench, you can go ahead and use it. But if you don't, as long as you can spin it like with one hand, like you're running out of power, this is good. So you don't have to force it. Otherwise it'll cross thread it and then it'll be bad. So same thing on the other side. So basically for the clutch side, when you want to get the clutch side in, you would have to open up the lower fairing. So you have a little room to just like push this back and open the screw. So you just have to open it from here 
and pretty much that's it you can like kind of push it back if you have someone to help you it'll be easier if not then you kind of have to do it but if you just open this one right here you can pull this back and then just slide this right over and then just like all other ones you open this one actually has three so you open three of the screws right here and then you put it over the clutch and you're good to go so there we go this is the finished product that's how it looks like and basically we're done with the protection kit so the protection kit was the engine cover the frame sliders the front axle sliders as well as the rear single um the rear swing arm spools as well as the uh the rear axle sliders on both sides and here's also on this side so we got the swing arm spool slider we got the clutch cover man the clutch cover installation this one itself took 30 minutes it was super hard and then we got the again this cover over here the fairing sliders again and the front axle sliders pretty much this is it guys this was a quick uh video just to show you guys how the protection kit work on the zx10r um you could go with multiple brands there are a lot of brands out there that offers a protection kit but i decided to go with these and let me know in the comment section what you guys think about these mods and these uh protection kit on this DX10R and pretty much this is it. Thank you for tuning to the channel. Make sure you drop a like, dislike, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the channel. And pretty much this is it for today. Thank you. And I will catch you on the next one. Peace out.